Hi, my name is Vincenzo Minore and I'm the group CEO of the grooming company Holding. The, the business is operating since 20 years. Uh, as I said, we have six different brands, but today we are here to speak about Embar, that one, is one of our brands that uh, we have uh, from the 50 we own, Embars, we have 21, um, mostly in the UAE. And we started franchising uh, in Canada, in the UK, and also in the region, in the GCC, with Saudi and uh, Qatar. I think uh, the, the, the proposition we have is a very valid proposition because we own <laughs> 21 stores ourselves. So we know how to do business in our own stores. And the learnings and the mistakes uh, we have done in the past are also creating the experience and successful, uh, the success of the future. So I think uh, the best fit is when people are can, they have kind of an entrepreneurial mind but they don't want to go through the hassle to reinvent something. So if somebody is super creative, I think they should do their own business and not take a franchising. But if they are super entrepreneurial, they want to see a return investment quicker. They don't want to make the mistakes that everybody has done in, in putting on their brand. I think that franchising is a, is a good fit. From our experience, we find more or less two kind of different people. You have like, beauty junkies, they're really interested in beauty, but they don't feel um, creative enough to start their own business. So they're looking into a franchising, a model that already exists and is successful. So this is kind of one part. And the other part is like people, they want to invest and have a, a, a good return. And then they have more kind of a, a profile that is more a financial profile. So they're going to hire, they're going to take maybe not just a, a free uh, one unit, but they're going to take a region, our area development. And normally then they structure themselves in hiring somebody who runs the business and they can run the business more as a financial um, person. But the question is really a key, a key kind of question because the whole experience that you will experience in a shop, it depends on the level of uh, expertise and education of the staff. So, when we open uh, a new franchisee, we start with some remote education just to get them into, into the brand. But then we invite uh, the franchisee in our headquarters over the past between one and two weeks to really learn about the aspect of all uh, the operations. And they have also the opportunity to really experience the operation in our own shops. That is very important. We are kind of very successful in the UAE. We bring this concept uh, across the world and uh, we, have, we are going to focus on the UK. And there is no uh, way that you can build a, a franchising business in the UK be, without being associated with BFA. So for us, I think it gives us kind of a credibility uh, piece that uh, we need to be uh, a serious franchisor in, in the UK. And uh, as we just started five months ago, I think uh, we're kind of the honeymoon phase and I think uh, we will kind of uh, be a good partner of BFA and I think BFA will bring us uh, quite a lot for the future.